How do guys, it's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a cheaper alternative to Nurgle Rot. Right guys, um, I've been asked by a lot of you to, get, to carry on doing the how to make um, the Citadel range paints, the technical paints like uh, Surly Mud, uh, Nurgle Rot, Blood for the Blood God, the popular ones, the ones that we're using regular, and Typhus Corrosion. Um, I'm, I'm still not there yet on Typhus Corrosion. Um, I'm getting there, I'm getting really close, um, but as soon as I get as close as I am with the rest of them, I will do a video showing you on how I make that. Um, I make tubs of this stuff. Um, the reason I thought about doing a Nurgle Rot one um, was because the other day I actually saw somebody um, making a piece of terrain and they wanted Nurgle pools for the models to come out with and they actually poured in layers nearly four pots of Nurgle Rot into it. <laughs> Serious. Um, I mean, that's what that's nearly a tenner's worth of paint in it, um, just to get one crater's worth of Nurgle, and he wanted a table's worth. I'm gonna spend nearly sixty quid on paint, and I, t I told it, I told him off. <laughs> I said, "Come on, use your head." Um, so I've always made it. Um, so I bought a pot while I was there, um, and I thought I'd copy it and make sure that I got the colour correct and uh, the consistency correct and everything else. It's a piece of poddle guys and the materials that I'm using in this video are very handy to have. Um, it's not going to be super cheap to make isn't it? The materials are going to cost you about 8 quid um, but you can make loads plus you can use the other materials for water effects and all sorts. So well, let's get down, let's, let's get together and let's make some horrid rot. <laughs> I'll speak to you in a bit. Right guys, so Nurgle Rot, it's a bit of a weird green, uh, it's hard to find a cheap colour that's the same colour. Now what you're going to need, you're going to need like an ochre uh, and you're going to need like a, a light green colour, uh, brownie green. Okay. Now mix them together about 50-50, um, I do get it slightly wrong, I think I'm a bit too generous with the yellow. Um, but mix it together, uh, but best thing is, is add little bits of green because if you make it too green it's hard to pull it back okay so just add bits of green at a time and that way you get you know as close as possible um, without making a major mistake all right and as you can see getting there but I'll just add a little bit more um, and then it's more or less perfect well to my eyes anyway um, once you've mixed the color and you're happy with it and you've compared it with the actual pot color and you think yep that'll do you need to add the secret ingredient um, and it's not that secret guys just gloss gel now add about the same amount of gloss gel that you've added paint all right makes it nice and thick um, it does take some mixing in so make sure you really mix it in uh, you'll feel the texture of the paint completely change okay get it in there uh, and then what we do then is we add plenty of water in now completely submerge it with water as you can see when I put this uh, water in I fill it up so it completely covers the paint once you've done that mix it in and keep mixing till you get it to the same consistency as the Nurgle Rot okay now I used to mix it myself before I even bought Nurgle Rot um, and I used to get it to a point where it was just transparent so you could so it covered quite well but was also quite transparent in areas so it didn't completely block colour. Um, but if you compare it with a Nurgle rot you're not gonna go wrong. Okay. So what I do is I keep mixing till I find the thickness that I want and uh, what I actually do is I test it to see if it'll drop off my uh, brush exactly the same as the Nurgle rot. So as you can see there it drops off your brush quite well and it looks quite transparent on your brush. Do the same and it does the same okay now once it's doing the same and it looks the same color the chances are it's gonna do exactly the same thing <laughs> on some plastic okay um, now I were tapping it on the desk then just to you know get the air bubbles out of it uh, now I'm putting it on some plastic uh, so that the closest one to the camera is Nurgle Rot and the furthest one away is my color now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure it reacts the same I did put a bit too much on mine so I'll go back to the Nurgle Rot after cleaning my brush to put about the same amount on and this way you can see it looks the same color and it's acting the same way on the uh, on the plastic 
okay I haven't got any models painted up to show you properly but what I'll do is I'll leave this to dry um, so you guys can actually see it dr dried and make sure it's got the same glossiness and the same transparency in the areas where it's transparent and everything else all right uh, so I'll just skip to that part now and we'll uh, I'll see you at the end Right, and once they're dry, just compare them. And I think you'll find that they're more or less the same. Might be a, a tiny weeny difference in colour, but I think that's more to do with the light than anything. Um, but they're more or less the same. They're the same amount of glossiness, they're the same amount of transparency in areas, and you can make as much as you want. Right, guys, so you saw how easy that is. Um, it's a piece of puddle. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear, can you tell? Um, but anyway, with gloss medium, guys, um, it's good to have laying around. The gloss gel is what you want. It's not because you can, using the same process, just change the colour. You can obviously pick whatever colour bloods you want, purple bloods, whatever. You can make blood for the blood gods. If you want a dark red, I'd, I'd suggest using ink because it's more transparent. Um, but that's the only difference. Um... It's good for water effects, for making nice wave effects and waves, which I'm going to cover in, in I think, might be the next video. Um, it's just handy to have, because it's got loads of uses. You can even water it down and make your own uh, ad coats. <laughs> so that's how good it is. Um, if you like what I'm doing with these videos, just let me know. If you've got any comments or questions, just bang it below and I'll answer as, as soon as I can. Um, if you're wanting to help me out and support the channel... Um, you can obviously send me a donation to my email, but if you if you want in some bits and supplies, do check me affiliates out, guys. They are one of the cheapest online, um, and with the Luke's APS product code, you get ten percent off that. And if you spend over a tenner, it's free postage, um, and that way, when you buy something, I get a small cut of that as well, which really helps. Keeps me away from Patreon. Um, and obviously you're getting your supplies cheaper and everything else. They do milliputs, they do dust, they do green stuffs, they do army painter paints, they do whatever you need, they've more or less got it. We are working together to work on stuff that I use more regular as well, so things that I'm using you should be able to get cheaper in the long run. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. If you like these videos on the Citadel Tech uh, paints and uh, the what technical paints I think they call them, I will do a couple more. Um, because there's a few that I've been using and I'll re revisit the older ones that I've done uh, because some videos are horrendous <laughs> and so I'll, I'll redo them for you all. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll catch you again for the next video. See you in a sec.